Oh, well, I don't even know anymore. Uh, Jiggy Jack TV, <laughs> JiggyJackTV.com. Also, RossLong.info, and now Rock This Magazine. I am Jigman Freud, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the admiral of alliteration, or as Tim Dixon calls me, the social media journalist. I'm going to get the hell out of the way and let the people with talent talk. Jump in there, Bluff Force Trauma. How the hell are you guys in, end up playing the Muse Ballroom tonight? You don't know. We don't know how we got <laughs> We have no idea. A long time ago, somebody said, hey, you should play. And we said, okay, and end up being this one. That's it? There you go. That sounds about it. And then they're like, hey, we got the CD coming out. You guys are playing the show still, right? Yeah. Sure. Did we say that? Yeah, we did. I think so. So for the people that uh, have been hiding under rock for a couple years, go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Darkness. I play the drums. I'm one of the people under the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jared, uh, the bass player. <laughs> Matt, vocals. Um, I'm Travis, I'm the other bass player. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, two bass players. Yep. First band with two bass players. Two bass uh, two two players. That's, That's right. right. Two blaze Thank bass. you, Dark. But my, my, his, his blaze has, has six strings, and some of them are smaller than the other. They don't get bigger, they just get smaller. They just get smaller. I guess penis. That's it? Yeah. It fucking happens, you know? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. I'll say it as a joke, and then he just brings <laughs> out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys think of the, uh, the Muse Ballroom? I think it's nice, and the stage is awesome. I'm excited to play, and I want to get drunk. I hear you guys are going to play yeah. as fast, like double fast, so you can all go get drunk. Is that... No, no, I play double fast when I'm drunk, but I can't get drunk before I play because I'll throw up all over the place. It sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. when, when he's drunk, he tends to make the speed double speed, so it makes all the songs suck more than what they do already. And I throw up. And then he throws up, which I makes it you... better. But... Then I throw up, and it's just a puke. I hear you guys are like the, the the big superheroes of Garden City. People just love you guys. Who uh, told you that Garden crap? City. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> you should kick that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> nah, we, we we started something in Garden City, and it was it was big for a bit, and then other people took over, and I, they're still doing a good job. I think I just we did it better. <laughs> You guys like, what do you think of these lights? I think they're, like I think they're racist as fuck. <laughs> Awful. You, you know, know that, what's bad is that Ross has got a light up there that's not even turned on. So it's maybe, like, maybe if he had that light, we wouldn't need these two fucking spotlights. God damn it. Crap. You know what's great about this is that he doesn't have to worry about the light. He's like barely in... When I ever the light yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> now, uh, are you guys interested in? Are you guys excited about a certain band tonight besides yourself playing? That? Yeah, we're excited about every band on this bill. Not so much about ourselves. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Not about yourselves. Oh, we really want to see Hemlock, Breakpoint, and Friends of ours, and we're excited about them all. Never oh, seen Assembly Line God, so we're pretty stoked. There was a, at one time, Cash Hollister was on this bill. I know, I heard, he, he, uh, <laughs> he got sick this morning and he couldn't play it. Because it's, it's adding different mixes to the local music. I mean, it would have been cool to see his friends come out, his fans come out. Just would have been more people, you know? And it would be two black people. And it would have been two black people. <laughs> and we would have exposed all the people that like rap to our music and stole them away. It would have been cool. But he got sick, punk. We couldn't play. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Cash Hoss. He's great. He's a great guy. I mean, you could have introduced the mosh pit to hip hop. They got mosh of their own and yeah, yeah, beer bottles and knives and all that shit. <laughs> I take that back to you, Cash. I love you. <laughs> now, uh, is is there a particular theme to Blunt Force Trauma? Do you guys like have particular themes in your music and brutality? That's basically what we go for. We want it hard, heavy, and in your face. Straight up about everything. So that's you know, what we're about. 
You know what's great about the lead singer of Blunt Force Trauma, Ross, is the fact that uh, this guy is so casual here, but then when he gets on stage, it's like you just want to throw him your wall and he'll just take it from you if you don't. You can do that if you want to. Other than the fact that you owe me money, so it's probably... <laughs> <laughs> I definitely ain't taking anybody's money. Fucking <laughs> <I'll give you laughs> horse shit. <laughs> I owe you money and what else? A bucket of chicken. A bucket of chicken. Fried chicken? Baked. <laughs> <laughs> I have a well, question for Dark. I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask it. Now, uh, uh, when you play, do you break things? Sometimes. Uh, accidentally or on purpose? Accidentally. I'm fat. That's why I answered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat. Okay. Do you, you, uh, guys, do you guys ever break things when you're on stage? You're Actually, the... Matt's head with his bass. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah, single show. Almost every single show. I break everything. But the, the first show we did, we threw in Garden City, the actual show, um, we borrowed some stage from the local high school there and uh, we managed to get it to collapse on us while we were on stage where the last one it didn't break anything except we thought it did and it looked pretty bad but it was pretty badass so, so. It was badass we were playing and the stage fucking collapses did it, it break your you? no, it, it, was, it was awesome and everyone yeah. cheered if I would have fell off my platform I would have been fucked <laughs> that thing was high man I was scared to death yeah, it would have been funny and I'm looking over there thinking Jared, don't fucking do this. Don't fucking do this. And he's just like, what? And you kept on freaking bouncing on that well, board. the other side. Mm -hmm. You did it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. It didn't break your spirit, though. Never. No, never. Okay. <laughs> never. Now, you guys are on Facebook, I understand. Yep. But Where else are you? Twitter or all that stuff? Do you do any tweeting? We, mainly in Facebook. We have a MySpace, but nobody visits it anymore. And so. Because we suck. Yeah. That's... For the most part, in my space. Yeah. There's no like blunt force yeah. drama on Twitter have, or anything. No, not, yet. not right now. You we guys don't tweet. Nope. We're not birds. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, dude. He's so fast with it. Shit, it's awesome. <laughs> Witty. He's great. Really? Oh, and look at that. He's getting he's getting a phone call from the president. Hi. <laughs> We're busy. He has to go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're on the phone, and I'm going to get the hell out of here, and you're watching Jiggy Jag TV. Sorry, Ed Baldwin, we ran out of time. <laughs>